Hello, this is H.C. Bailey. I'm JB. <laughs> and welcome back to Let's Play Seiken Densetsu 3! Spit your food out! No. <laughs> okay, well anyway, now we gotta go back to where we were here. What's going on? What do you mean? Why are we leaving? We gotta take out the God Beast! Uh, this is one of my... Actually, yeah, this is my uh, favorite God Beast battle. Because this one is unique. Unlike my brother's favorite, which is done in Contra. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. But anyway, when you get on Flamey here, you get boss time! So yeah, first things first, you want to get Earth... Or Diamond Saber. I was going to say Earth Saber, but no, that wouldn't be right. So first things first, let's get Diamond Saber going, then I'll transform. There we go. Now the thing with this boss fight, uh, one of the things that makes it unique, is that, uh, well, you're fighting up here on Flamey there. I wonder why Flamey doesn't go fight him. <laughs> I mean, Flamey's like twice the size, three times almost. Yeah, really. Uh, any particular debuffs you want me no. to do? No, no, just go all out. Part of the reason why I'm not going with as many debuffs or using like Earth Saber on more enemies is because, as you'll see, this boss has multiple phases. And every time it goes through a different phase or, what, or transformation or whatever you want to call it, um, it will all your debuff, all your buffs and debuffs will reset. So it's just like a new battle practically, and it's damn annoying. So. Why bother recasting everything every single time? You see my uh, transformation reset. So now I gotta reestablish my Earth Saber. I'm just so cute. Hmm. Don't bother with any uh, thunder magic or anything like that because um, it's immune to it, or it absorbs it. So you get that back on you. There you go. So yeah, this is probably the longest of the God Beast boss fight, aside from the very last one, I think, because of these different phases to the battle. Yeah. But it is unique. I will give it credit to that, and it does have awesome music, too, so it's hard to beat. Hard to beat any of these God Beast boss fights, really. Just wail on the guy. Wow, we are going through this really, really fast. Yep. I was thinking I might have to cut, like, right in the middle of the boss fight, but, uh, I guess not. Yeah, let's just keep on going like this. Uh, let's see. Kevin. I think having two human-controlled characters is really helping out a lot, because it's really hard to get AI-controlled characters to, uh, focus your efforts on the boss there. I'm really debating if I want to do the, uh, level 2 limits or not, because he keeps on backing out my range. Yeah, yeah, that is a bit of a problem. The problem is sabers don't stack with uh, level two uh, uh, abilities or level two techs. But I see what you mean. I mean, it's. I don't think this. I don't think any of the god beasts uh, counter anything. So I think we should be good, regardless. Okay, just wail on the guy now. Yeah, pretty much. If you just uh, get Earth Saber and then just wail on him. You're in pretty good shape. It's pretty... Yeah, look at that damage. Holy cow. Wow. Just two human-controlled characters. It's just so amazing. Okay, last one. I hope this is the last Oh, no! I transformed before I cast Earth Saber. Oh, boo. Budge and who. Yeah. Okay, I guess that'll make life more interesting, I guess. Yeah, still do, like, 50 less damage. Ooh. Well, I was dealing about 350 before. So it'll take 12 more seconds. I guess. Whatever. And get that on Hawk. If I can actually see what I'm doing, that would be helpful. Whoa, you're taking a bit of damage there. Well, we almost got the guy anyway. Okay, come on. Get down here! How much damage am I dealing? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm dealing like 270. You see, I'm dealing a lot less damage now. Cry more. <laughs> Come on. This 
guy also has, I think, the most HP of all the god beasts, but yeah! God. Awesome. One thing that's kind of interesting about this god beast boss fight is if you gain a level during the boss fight, or if your experience goes over the limit for whatever it was to gain the level, you won't actually gain the level right now. You're, you're, if you go into your menu, it'll say, oh yeah, there's uh, a god, you, you, you're going to gain a level, it'll say you have zero experience to gain, but uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot, or, let's see, is this where I want to go? No. Is that where I want to go? Okay, yeah, we want to go here next, this is the last one that we can do. Okay, so this is the next god beast we want to go after. It's the last one we can go for, for right now. Uh, one thing, just to continue what I was saying before, you see how we have zero experience to gain a level? Why didn't we gain a level? Well, that's because when you're fighting Don Guard specifically, uh, you can't gain a level during the fight. You have to go to another battle, kill something, and then you'll gain a level. So, yeah, kind of an interesting little mechanic for that boss fight. Watch out for the Silver Knights. No, no, don't water Jitsu them. You don't want to use level 2 or 3 techs on them, but I don't think it's really necessary to water Jitsu them. I don't think that they're that hard. Okay. So, but yeah, you see, now we killed an enemy, so now we gain the level. So, uh, go for Intelligence. There you go. Yeah, we don't need any more agility. Once you get up to 17 agility, then you're fine. Uh... I guess go for spirit. Normally I go for strength, vitality, or spirit, or intelligence, but I'm maxed out on that. And Carly is maxed out on her three, so, uh, yeah, intelligence, whatever. Almost up to level 38. Oh, not these guys. These guys can, uh, moogle you. As a matter of fact, real quick here, do I already have it in my inventory? Oh, okay, good. You want to have the Chibiko hammer for, uh, this area. Uh, oh, we can't do anything in here. Oh. Nothing! There, are you happy, viewers? <laughs> kind of funny that it's nighttime here. But anyway, I like saving this one for last. Uh, or, well, second to last. Sorry, uh, I don't know what I was saying. You could go up there. You know what, let's quick check this out. Why not? Don't even bother killing these guys. Okay. I just want to quick show them something. Yeah, you try going over here. Yeah, the water's too deep. Even though Kevin clearly demonstrated that he could swim in the beginning of the game. Hmm. But no, you can't go through that water, so we gotta uh, find another way around. Okay, screw these guys. We already killed them once. I will want to do some more level grinding here, though, because, you see, these guys are all level 40, and, well, they're not kicking our ass, but, uh, it is getting a little harder. Yeah. Uh-oh, Flash, kill them quickly! Nuts, they moogled us! Uh, okay, so the way I like to cure Moogle, Moogle? Yeah, Moogle. No, Moogle. Oh, okay, I guess we... No! Well, the way I like to cure Moogle is to replace the Moogle status with the Chibiko status. <laughs> and then use the Chibiko hammer again to undo that. Is there anything down? Oh, there is nothing down. I don't think. So. No, there isn't. Okay, I don't know why I went there. So yeah, basically, you, uh, you sort of trick the game into undoing the Moogle status by just simply replacing it with the Chibiko status, so... Yeah, it's kind of a cheap trick, but, uh... I don't feel like actually curing it 20 times in one dungeon, so... This is where the Monostone was earlier. But otherwise, there's nothing there. I thought Sirens had an interesting item drop here. Eh, I forget. Uh-oh, Tricky Dance. That's... Oh, okay, we're good. Yeah, uh, they have that dance move they have there uh, can uh, reduce your max HP by 20%. So, if only we could have a spell that would do the same thing. Yeah. If only. Oh, go grab that. Why not? 
Ooh, a Grell Oil. That's actually kind of a nice item. A little random. Or it's a pretty rare drop. But uh, it, uh, it casts Aura Wave, which maxes out your tech gauge instantly. Really good with um, level 3 techs later in the game. Not so much with my party, or our party that we have right now, but uh... Level well, 3 techs they won't be able to use because everything will counter it. Well, unless you kill them with it. <clears throat> or receive elemental buffs. Well, elemental buffs don't stack with it. They only stack with uh... Making a skill gauge a complete waste of time. Yeah, to an extent. Let's see what's going on over here. Okay, you see this screen with all those mama potos? Remember that for later, viewers. For about five seconds. Is that okay, viewers? No. Can you remember that that long? Well, you've got some nerve telling me you think you can't remember stuff for five seconds. Sometimes you can't remember what day it is. Hmm. Yeah, you got me on that one. Wow, this, this is just so much easier with two human-controlled characters. But anyway, you saw that screen with the Mama Potos. We're back again! So basically, what I want to do for my next level grinding is go around in that loop of screens over and over and over again. And ultimately, I want to get up to level 40. Oh, don't kill the Papa Poto. Okay, there we go. Now we can kill him. Kill the Papa Poto last. Okay, we didn't get it, but... Sometimes the Papa Poto will drop a chest, and they can drop the question mark seeds. So what you could do is, if you want to farm them, go over there, go down here. We can't do anything here yet. Go up here, and then you can go back two screens and do that again. And just do that over and over and over again until you've gotten all the seeds that you need. It would be nice if I could get up to six. Hmm, I wonder what that means. It would be nice if I could get up to six of those question mark seeds, but if I can't, you know, at least three would be helpful. That reduction of max HP reminds me of uh, that one status in Final Fantasy XII. I forget what it was called. Yeah. There's a status there that reduces, or that makes your current HP your max HP all the time. So that way, when bosses have certain attacks that they only use, or parts of their AI script, when their HP gets low enough, they'll never use it. Yeah, let's grab this. Yeah. Hey, all right. Is that always a honey drink? Yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just curious. No, it's not random like the chest in Final Fantasy XII! Oh, I hate that in Final Fantasy XII. But, anyway. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show that off. There we go. Yes. Damn it. I tried to fool the game, but now the game fooled me. Tried to fool it into doing what it was I actually wanted it to do. But anyway, with that level grinding spot, uh, there's a, a goddess statue somewhere. Okay, left. Left is light, right is something else. Okay. Gee, I wonder. <laughs> well, let's find out. Left one. Light. There we go. Right one. Fire. No. Oh. See that, uh, that... Well, let's show them. Why not? We got a little bit of time. Uh, don't kill the enemies. Let's just go. Just go. Okay. You want to put on your seatbelt? No. <laughs> so anyway, we go back to that area where there is water. And that, okay, it's not gone, but, uh... Well, the skeletons well, are. Yeah, we can get through now. So, hooray! And if you go up here, we got a golden goddess statue. So you could use this to recover from the level grinding or whatever you want to do. However you want to do it. So, or you could just leave and come back. Whatever you like. So, yeah, I want to get up to level 40. And along the way... We do have a class change to do. How do you do it?
find out next time on Let's Play Second and Setsu 3. I'm H.C. Bailey. And I'm JB. Signing off. Have a good day. <laughs>